Hello. So we'll be starting with building as a lump capacitance. It is one of the new module. And uh, I'll also explain about the importance of this concept. So if we want to solve uh, any thermal problem, the uh, let's start with the solid mechanics. So if we want to solve any solid problem, what the required thing is, we want to solve the, the equations of motion, which requires uh, displacement, which is x or x dot, which is velocity and acceleration. And these things are changing with time. And this is all guided by uh, Newton's laws. While we see in uh, the thermodynamics, what we have over here are uh, Navier-Stokes equation. And these are quite complex, much more complex than Newton's equation. So for Newton's equation, if we want to solve for velocity or acceleration in our uh, simple models, we can explicitly solve and get an analytical solution. But if we want to solve Navier-Stokes equation, it is not directly possible because there are some of the hindrances we have. Uh, the, the first is it is non-linear and it is partial differential equation. And it is non-linear with time and space, both. So if we uh, combine all these, the, the, the complexity of solving a no, uh, non, uh, Navier-Stokes equation becomes too difficult. And hence, we do not have a direct analytical solution. So one of the so, uh, simplification could be, we make a steady state assumption. So we can drop this time factor. And dropping these time factors makes it a steady state. But if we do not want to solve a steady state, we, we still want the dynamic dynamic solution which changes with time. My variables are changing with time. Then we can change the space coordinates. So if we have three space coordinates x, y, z or x, y, z, we can drop all these and convert them to a single variable which is just x. So we, we are converting a three-dimensional body to a point or a single dimensional. We are having it is a point mass from 3D. That's the change we are doing. So the concept of lung capacitance starts from that. What we do is we, we consider the whole body as a lump mass, as a single uh, unit of mass. And for that unit of mass, we have only two variables. Now, one of the variable is space, which is x. And the other variable is time. So still, the temperature of the body, when we, we, when we count the, the thermal, thermodynamics problem, the, what we are interested in uh, is the temperature. So the temperature of the body can change with time. It can change with time and it can change with one of the locations. So at all place in my inside my uh, lump mass, all the location will have the same temperature. So the temperature has uniformity. So in total, we have uniform temperature. That's one of the characteristic and the temperature T change with time. These two properties are there for my lump capacitance model. And since it is uniform temperature, it also means there are no temperature gradients. So when we start solving a building as a lump capacitance, what we are doing to going to do is we'll take a building which will have walls, which will have concrete slab, 
that is ceilings or floor and the third is obviously the 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 building encloses air inside them so there are these three usual components of our of our building and we do a have some furniture some indoor some indoor articles so what we'll do is we'll combine all this uh, concrete slab walls and air into a single thing and then we'll see the change of temperature of air or change of temperature of concrete or change of temperature of walls with time due to the changes in my weather so my weather uh, if it is cool outside the walls or the concrete will not not cool themselves immediately because they have some thermal mass there will be some thermal lag so if the outside temperature becomes 60 degree and my indoor temperature initially was 75 it will take some time for the walls and the concrete slab basically our building to reach to 60 so after five hours maybe that the building has reached from 75 degrees celsius to 70 in the next five hours it may reach from 70 to 67 degrees celsius and then it would take some 10 hours to reach from 67 to 63 degrees celsius and another 20 hours to reach from 63 to 60 degrees celsius so this change of temperature of walls and concrete slab and the air inside my room with time depends on this modeling of the building as a lump capacitance so in the next we will continue with the requirements what are the formal requirements technical requirements to consider building as a lump capacitance we can't take any of my building and just apply the lump capacitance model there are some requirements and if the building fulfills those requirements there are multi material requirements and there are size requirements if those are fulfilled then we can consider building as a lump capacitance and easily solve some very complex problem and get some estimates about the temperature changes inside and of my building with time so i hope you have understood the concept thank you